It's 2018 and I'm wearing Snapchat spectacles. Why? I'll tell you. What you see on the screen is version two of Snapchat's connected glasses. They released a few months ago and cost $150, which is 20 more than the original version. And yes, they look very similar to the original Snapchat spectacles. They've got the same overall design. Both are sunglasses with an embedded video camera, a ring of LEDs, and a tactile button. But if you look closely, you'll see there's a bit less bulk with V2, specifically where all of the electronics are housed, and they seem to fit my face a bit better too. Spectacles V2 are available in new colors that I think are way less flashy and more refined. I picked black. And now Snapchat has two options for lenses for each of the three colors. That's pretty cool. So aside from some new colors and a slightly more sleek design, what's new here? All right, so in addition to video, you can finally take pictures with the new spectacles. Just press and hold the button for a second. The new specs are water resistant, proof, Regardless of the wording, I've taken them swimming multiple times and fully submerged them and they're totally fine. And that's pretty cool because underwater videos are always tight. Spectacles V2 videos are by default HD, and we'll talk about resolution soon. And they import much faster than they did with V1. The glasses still pair to your phone over Bluetooth, but will only use Wi-Fi to transfer your content, meaning the process is much, much faster. Thank goodness. Videos from the new spectacles look pretty good in my opinion. It's not 4K, but this is a $150 video camera on your face. Colors are accurate and nothing's crazy overexposed, and 60 frames per second means buttery smooth capture. I'm almost positive that Snap is using a better sensor in here, but I'd only be able to confirm that if I tore these down. So the exact resolution of the videos are 1280 by 1280 when you export them round, but who wants round video? Sure, it's cool in Snapchat, but what if you want to post elsewhere? Just in the last few weeks, Snapchat finally gave us the option to export in either square or widescreen. That's how the clips you've seen in this video are in this aspect ratio. Finally! Battery life seems to be about the same as V1, but the charge case has been redesigned and is much smaller. And you've still got inductive charging for both the case and the glasses themselves. So why am I wearing Snapchat spectacles in 2018? Because having an always on, one click to record video camera on your face enables you to effortlessly capture hands-free first person footage. You get that GoPro style video without the GoPro. The footage is also pretty dang stable because surprise, your head is an impressive stabilizer. My big gripe with the spectacles though is its inability to record for long periods of time. You see, you press the button once and it records for 10 seconds. You can click it another two times for recording up to 30 seconds, but it splits it into 10 second clips. Why can't I just click the button once and have it record for like a minute? I bet it has to do with the fact that the only way to access the spectacles footage is via Snapchat, and it would probably kill the battery in these. So should you buy these? I think if you're a Snapchat user and want to capture unique video clips by wearing a pair of style of sunglasses, go for it. It's kind of crazy how convenient it is to have a camera on your face that's always ready to record. Because remember kids, the best camera is the one you have with you. And in the case of spectacles, this camera is also a pair of sunglasses. And sunglasses are cool.